We got the one and only Max Bear Jr. How are you doing? Well, I'm alive. That beats the alternative, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, for those of you who may not know, if you've been living under a rock, yeah, he's better known as Jethro from right. the Biblical Hillbillies. Right. That was a long time ago. Yeah. I, I'm old enough to be my own grandfather now, I think. And uh, he and I met 10 years ago uh, at, 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 San Francisco. at a taping of the Jerry Springer Show in San Francisco. This was before Jerry Springer became the Jerry Springer Show that we all know. Right, right yeah, yeah. Buddy Epson who played Jed and Ellie May were on it. We didn't beat up each other. We didn't hit each other. Nothing. No, no. It was all legit then. Uh, back then, you were talking about uh, opening some kind of a... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that we had a I, I licensed the rights for the Beverly Hillbillies and have tried to been, <coughs> excuse me, I've been trying to do a casino for about 10 years or so. But I won't do it unless I get the right place and under the right conditions, and I can control it. And uh, I bought a Walmart, uh, an old Walmart, just one that went vacant, 120,000 square feet and uh, 13 acres in Carson City, Nevada. And I'm going to try to get it done there. I also have slot machines that are out now, Beverly Hillbilly slot machines that I IGT puts out. That's International Gaming Technology. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, they're... Uh, uh, Jed's is called Clampet Cash, and Granny's is called Moonshine Money, and I've got about 1,200 of those out now, all over Vegas, all over the state of Nevada. Now we're just going into the California market, into the Indian casinos. Looking back at those episodes, you know, what's like, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I mean, when you look back at those episodes. I get a check every week, okay. and all I had to do is show up and work. All right. Okay. Yeah, huh? They're on TV land. They're, they keep rerunning. Yeah, they go TV. Well, look, it's, there's more time on TV than there is product. And what happens is that in, in 1962, when we were on the other, it was only ABC, NBC, and CBS. Now you've got 180 stations or 200 stations that you can go to. So the reason why 50, 60 million people watch the Beverly Hillbillies every week is because there was really not much of an alternative. You had, one, you had ABC, NBC, or CBS. That's what you could watch, nothing else. And then if it... You happened to get lucky enough. It was a good enough show. It stayed on and got made some money. What did you think of Weird Al Yankovic's uh, Money for Nothing spoof doing the Beverly Hillbillies theme? Anything that's done that draws attention to it is an assist to the to the uh, merchandising rights of the Beverly Hillbillies. So if I'm doing slot machines and people are talking about the Beverly Hillbillies, that all lends good to the product. It, so anybody that says anything at any time, my dad used to say publicity was fine. Just spell my name right. That's all. <laughs> all right, we're going to let you go. Much. We're going to let you go. Thanks hey. a lot.